Hi there, it's Jeff. I recently had a question from one of my followers about what sort of blades I use for my track saw, and in particular, what sort of blades I use uh, for cutting melamine without chips. Well, believe it or not, I don't use a lot of different blades for this uh, track saw. I'm going to show you which ones I use and the techniques that I use to cut melamine successfully without chipping. Okay, let's start off with talking about some of the blades that are out there for the track saws and it doesn't really matter too much what brand that you have. Uh, I'm talking more around about the 160 millimeter uh, track saw blades. Uh, and the main ones that uh, you need to sort of focus on are the fine tooth blades, particularly for cutting your manufactured boards. Uh, I have a bit of melamine here. Let's start off with this one. For the melamine, I use uh, the standard blade that actually came with this Vestal track saw. It's the 48 tooth uh, blade. Uh, nothing fancy about it, it's just the one that came with the machine and it's these are pretty easy to, to find. Uh, this brand make a particular melamine blade uh, I haven't bothered to go out and purchase that one uh, because this 48 tooth is sufficient. Now, when you get these blades and they're new and they're sharp, they'll cut through your melamine without any chips and they're really good, but then after a while you will start to get the chips and that's probably half the problem. Thinking, what do you have to do? Do you have to sharpen them every you know, couple of uses? And that's just not really viable. But I'll show you a technique of what I do to, when cutting melamine with that particular blade and that that's and that's all you really need that 48 tooth blade I'll show you what to do cutting that melamine with that um, apart from that the other any other blades that I have for this that I do use uh, is another one which is a 28 tooth uh, same brand and it I use that to cut uh, your some solid timbers uh, and plywood so that that blade obviously it's got less teeth and it's a bit more coarse for that that type of work and that works fine and the other blade that I do use sometimes or have used in the past is uh, a specialty blade for cutting uh, FC sheeting or uh, materials like that which I'm not going to go too far into that's pretty much another kettle of fish but with your manufactured boards. They are the only two blades that I have for this. I have actually two of these 48 blades, so I always have one that's sharp. Um, if I'm working and one goes blunt, I can quickly access it and get the, send the other one off to get sharpened. But um, I'll show you my techniques that I use for the 48 tooth blade, and you see for yourself uh, what you think and uh, if, you, if you like that technique or not. There you go. Hopefully you uh, saw a little bit of a difference in that de video demonstration uh, doing that scribe, what we call a scribe cut first into your, your, your melamine and it's just a couple of millimeters or an eighth of an inch uh, adjusting your depth and then doing a full depth plunge cut uh, into your material on the second pass. And you'll see that the results do um, do show that you do get a nice crisp cut doing it that method and just using your standard 48 tooth blade you don't need a fancy melamine blade I don't believe you do just 48 tooth using that technique it is a, it is doing two passes but you'll get good results and that will work well on MDF boards also with a with a, um, a satin sort of a finish or laminate type of finish um, as well as these nice melamine boards 
So hopefully uh, you uh, liked this video. If you did, thumbs up. Please subscribe, share, and hopefully I'll see you in uh, one of our next videos.